Stuart Nanner here for Outdoor Basics um, and today we want to kind of do a bit of a follow on video I'm not stripping, you're not that lucky big size eh? um, a kind of follow on video of my Outdoor Basics knife that I had made by Jason from RJ Bushcraft um, it's in a leather sheath it was on a dangler but I've took the dangler off um, ferro rod loop, it's just got one on there and then the knife itself um, so the knife itself when I asked for the knife what I wanted was a kind of beefed up version of a is it more a forest black? I think, I, I think that's it or I'm, I'm more a bushcrafter um, I wanted a beefed up version of that and that's what he gave me uh, 01 tool steel, I believe it to be 6mm thick, kind of drop point, scandy, decent sort of choil there, um, lanyard hole, and kind of G10 scales, and it had kind of the commando green liners there. Um, the handle itself, I've modified the handle, I've made it a kind of, I think people call it, is it a rocky road handle? I've made it a kind of rocky road handle, thinned it down a bit. Um, and made it a rocky road handle. Jason gave me exactly what I asked for at the time, but over over time I decided it was maybe too beefy, so I took it down a wee bit and modified the handle myself. Um, and yeah, mega happy. So this is just a kind of follow-on vid, because he's doing loads of other knives and stuff like that, so I thought I'd just do a, a follow-on vid for mine. Um, see, on a side note, we're doing all this stuff with knives and everything, and before I go any further, like, these, these are sharp, like, you're going to see in a minute, this is pointy and sharp. So if you're doing anything like, us, like this, make sure you've got a kind of IFAC kit, like a wee basic kind of trauma kit. Mega accessible. So for, for me here, I've got like a kind of Israeli bandage and a genuine cat tourniquet, like a real deal one here. Because um, bleeding out in the woods isn't like my idea of a good time. So. With the best intentions in the world, things can still go wrong. Yeah, I'm not cutting inside the V, I'm not cutting back towards myself. Whenever I'm doing any chopping, I'm using a local grip with a bit of paracord on my finger, blah, 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 blah. Things can still go wrong. So just before you go and use all these really sharp implements, if you buy yourself a super duper cool knife, I don't know, maybe spend an extra couple of quid on a bandage or something like that as well. Just food for thought, guys. Hi, guys. So. This is a bit that's already been cut, we've been using it for camp and stuff. Where we are, this stuff just grows and grows and grows and grows and grows. Um, it's an old, like, kind of commercial area, and they planted it with this stuff, and it just goes up in two seconds. So for every bit we cut down, 40 million kind of grow up in its place. So this is just to kind of, again, just show the chopping, sort of, capabilities. It's pretty much wrist thick, so it's on the edge of what I would do. I go for that kind of the cool thing, the paracord there. Check the edge. And then just to be awkward, this is a bit of a kind of horrible bit really. So yeah, I mean, chop through that with ease, um, and it's like quite new, you know what I mean, but look. No hassles, no hassles whatsoever. Look, easy. I'm aware this isn't the hardest of woods, do you know what I mean? Um, but I think it's a pretty good example of uh, these knives 
how effectively they can chop and stuff if you need to. I prefer to use an axe and a saw, but I like to have a, I suppose the saying as a one tool option if I really needed to. Um, make a shelter with just my knife, I know that I could chop reasonable size wood down and break it down quite easily with this. So I'll do a few more tests back at camp. I know it could kind of be classed as abuse in a knife but this is the Outdoor Basics knife that I had made for me by Jason up Mal J Bushcraft and yeah, storming
it's not the prettiest maggot in the world, but it'll do the trick. And let me say, it's not the best wood here. But yeah, that'll do me for just banging in tent pegs and doing whatever we're doing, batting them wood down. Doesn't make you be anything awesome. This one's well had its day. Replacement. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I'll hold this still. No problem on the edge. Um, all I use to kind of look after it is just this work shirt. So obviously get a smooth edge, coarse edge, ceramic rod, touch up rod here and it can rotate through for fine, fish hook and then coarse. Um, you see it being an old one tool steel, it just bangs an edge. Like, I'll show you that it's got a strop here, I don't really strop it, I'm more, I'm more use a ceramic rod. We'll maybe put a wee video of me using it, but then we'll have every man and his dog. That's not how you sharpen a knife. It's sharp enough for me. I'm happy with it. Um, so yeah, I just use a work sharp to maintain it. Dead easy, tiny, light as a feather. Fits in my kit, no problem. So yeah, look, refer back to your other video. I think I made a tent peg in that one uh, when I first got it. And it's kind of patinaed up quite cool. Um, yeah, so I think two years on, it's still serving a purpose really, really well. It reminds me very much of like, kind of SA5, it's SA5-esque, um, and I like it, it's just a bit of a brutty a knife, it's perfect. Um, I'm in the market maybe for, I don't know, an SA6, or I think I might try and talk my wife into getting me an SA6, I don't know if you're watching, SA6, my birthday soon. Um, I wouldn't mind one or aim, or getting Jason to make, get, make one up for me and get his take on it. Uh, I know one of my mates, Alec, uh, he hates the SA6. Um, I think he likes the SA5 but hates the 6. Horses for courses. But as far as it goes, this knife for RJ Bushcraft, for Jason, is bomb proof. Cracking bit of kit. Absolutely storming bit of kit. Is it, is it the prettiest pony in the race? No, it's not the prettiest pony in the race. Um, is it an effective workhorse? 110%. So yeah, if you're interested in getting A, an affordable, B, a highly functional, functional, and C, a, a quality bit of kit, um, again, at a reasonable price, go up and see Jason.
as always, I've been Stuart, he's been Aaron, yous have been awesome. If you like what we're doing, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe and all that sort of stuff.